longs for you. My soul longs for you. De kracht van God kan doen wat mensen nooit kunnen doen. En we hebben de kracht van God nodig in Nederland. God ziet een kracht in jou. Hij weet, hey, als mijn kracht over jou komt, als je mijn geest de ruimte geeft om te werken in jouw leven, dan ben jij in staat om grote heldendaden te doen met God. Zoals Jezus was gezonden door de Vader om het Koninkrijk van God te brengen, om de wil van God te laten zien, om de heerschappij van God hier op aarde te brengen. Zo zegt Jezus, zo zijn ik, ook jullie. En dat is onze God, dat is de God die zijn oog op jou heeft. Dat is de God die een plan heeft met jouw leven. En het feit dat jij geboren bent heeft te maken dat God heeft een, heeft een bijzonder werk voor jou in petto. God heeft een bestemming. Hij heeft jou uniek gemaakt. Hij heeft jou gemaakt met bekwaamheden en talenten die geen ander zo kan uitoefenen als dat jij ze hebt gekregen. Hello everyone and welcome to this new broadcast of Voice of Faith. 
and we're talking about the subject of winning your battles. And we're together with Neil Jenkins. Neil, welcome to this episode again. Good to be here. And it's been such so powerful, the last few episodes. Yes. We've been talking about the spirit, the soul, and the body, and how we can win every single battle we face. We're supposed to win them. Yes. We're supposed yes. to win. We're conquerors. Conquerors. More than conquerors. More than conquerors. <laughs> We're not a victim. <laughs> we are winners. Yeah. And how can you win every battle you face? Uh, it's very important to understand the power of a spirit, a soul, and a body. So, the last episodes we talked about the power of the soul and how to renew our minds and how to live with our spirit man and flow through our soul so it can manifest in our lives and it can represent the kingdom of God. Uh, but we didn't talk a lot about the body yet. No, no. The power of the body. And Neil has some great revelations uh, about the power and the authority that has to do with the body, our body, our physical part uh, of our being. Uh, so Neil is going to teach about that and I'm sure it will be a revelation and change something in your life as soon as you understand this. So Neil, mm. please take us with okay. you in this subject. I'm excited about it. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in Genesis chapter 1, God said in verse 26, And God said, Let us make man in our Im own image and in our likeness. And let them rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the sky and over the creature, uh, cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God gave man the authority to rule on this planet over every living thing in the sea, in the air and, and under the water. So he gives, gives man that authority. But he said in, verse, in chapter 2 and verse 7, then God says to him, then the Lord God formed man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and man became a living being. Mm. So God said, I give you authority on the planet, but the only way you're going to be able to carry out that authority is if I give you a body of dust. Mm. Made from dust, you'll have a body. They need a body. Needed a body. So God says to live on the planet, you have to have an earth suit. Mm. Otherwise you're invisible. <laughs> I'm invisible in heaven, yeah. but I want you to rule as my ruler on the planet under me. But you have to rule over a seen physical world. So to, you need do, a physical body. to do that, you've got to have a physical body, and I'm making you a physical body from the dust. Hmm. So Adam became a legal ruler on the planet, first of all, because God gave him the authority. But he gave him the authority to walk on this planet with a dust body and rule. That's, that's the principle. Yeah. So, of course, we know what happened. Man disobeyed. So the consequences of sin is a separation from the presence of God. Mm. And when you're separated from the presence of God, you don't have life. Mm. So Adam lost his God life. Yeah. And he became a subject under a false ruler. A pseudo-ruler, by mm. default, Satan became the ruler over this mm. planet, called the God of this world. He gave his authority. He gave his authority by choice. When I say by choice, by choosing yeah. to disobey God. It was actually, it was a soul problem. Exactly. What did he do? What did they do to the, when they saw the tree of yeah. the knowledge of good and evil? It was feeding their emotions and their, and their taste. And it was good to see. The flesh, and, the yeah. self. Mm. Mm. So that was the first attack that Satan yeah. used on mankind mm. was to appeal to the soul. Mm. That's powerful. And he succeeded. Yeah, and he still does so the same. So why order. does he want to change a so-called winning combination? Yeah. He still does that today. It's not a winning combination, no. but it's working yeah. in many respects. Mm. So we see here that so... Um, man becomes the ruler, the medium between God and man. Now he loses that. So um, anybody that's on this planet or wants to come on this planet without a dust body is illegal. Hmm. So demonic powers want to um, exert influence in people's lives. Hmm. They want to come in and possess or oppress people and use these dust bodies mm. to express. It's like fear. It's yeah. a spirit of fear. Yeah. So that spirit of fear, if it's allowed to, will want to express itself through a dust body. Mm. 
all the phobias that we have mm. and, and that sort of thing of spiders and heights and all that sort yeah. of thing is a form of manifestation of evil. Mm. So we think it's natural. Yeah. So those things want to manifest. So if they can't come into a body of dust of a human, then they'll go into animals. Yeah. And the one example of that is the madman of Gadara. Yeah. He runs, with, he said, at a legion. Now, a legion is a minimum of 2,000 soldiers in the Roman army. <laughs> so he had at least 2,000 crammed in. And he ran, he saw Jesus, he ran to Jesus' feet. Yeah. And Jesus cast out those evil spirits, out that body of dust. Yeah. And the only place they could find was a herd of pigs. Yeah. So they went into the bodies of dust of animals yes. and went over the cliff. Mm. But the part that really always blessed me is that man had 2,000 demons trying to stop him yeah. from coming to Jesus. But he had a choice. Wow. And he made a quality choice. Mm. If I can get to Jesus' feet. Mm. And to me, that's a, a hope and a confidence that we have dealing with people wow. today. Wow. I don't care how de demonized they are, how they need deliverance. Mm. If they would just say, Jesus, wow. help. That's and he's the chain breaker. Mm. He's the deliverer. Oh, mm. glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's the one. Yeah. If we'll call on Him, wow. there's no power in hell that can stop us getting free. Amen. And the Bible says He fell at His feet and yes. worshipped Him. Yes. 2,000 demons couldn't stop no. the man from worshipping no. Jesus. No. What is stopping you from Whew. worshipping Jesus? Yes. Some yeah. people, well, I don't feel... 2,000 oh. demons couldn't stop the man worshipping no. Jesus. There's always a reason to worship Jesus, yes. to give Him praise, yes. to give Him yes. glory. And when that happens, the impossible happens. Amen. Ha! Amen. No because demon in hell can stand <laughs> no. when Jesus says, set him free. Hallelujah. Ha. Praise God. Oh, man, I tell you something. It's time for a praise session. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a praise session today. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so our bodies are essential yeah. to represent God on earth. Mm. So that's how important our bodies are. Yeah. So that's why he wants us to be born again. Yeah. Instruments of his righteousness. Mm. But I have to be in a body of dust. Mm. I can prove that because we were at a funeral yesterday. Yeah. And that person was no longer there. <laughs> Could say, and she was a believer. It says to be absent from the body mm. is to be present with the Lord. Wow. So when my spirit leaves my body when I die, the body has no access now. Because it's not legal anymore on the planet. I have to leave. So a body has no rights without a spirit. But a spirit has no rights without a body. Yeah, correct. Works both ways. Works both ways. For God's economy, for the God's principles on this world, that has to be like that. Mm. And God limited himself to that promise. Yeah. Let them. Yeah. We, let them let, we will them make it. Dominion, you know. Let them have dominion over everything. Because they've got dust bodies on this planet. God has given you authority. Yes. A lot of people are waiting till God is going to do something. Well, God says, you rule and reign. The earth he has given to the children of man, yes. the Bible says. Yes, yes, yes. And he wants to rule, but rule through us. He needs, uh, yeah. he needs us in that way yes. yeah. Yeah. to work. Yeah. So the kingdom of God, hmm. Jesus prayed. He said, this is how you pray, disciples. Yeah. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is already in heaven. But how can it be done on earth unless it's through bodies of dust? Yeah. So we are the representatives. It's not something mystical that's going to no. happen. Like, our, then there's like a glimpse of heaven around uh, us. No, yeah, yeah. it's the glory of God in us. Yes. Christ in, in you. you. Yes. Glory. Yes, 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 yes. It's going to be seen in your body, yes, in your life. Yes, yes. It's not a building as such. No. God no longer, you see, Paul on, in Athens Hill, he said, God no longer dwells in buildings that men's hands have made. He makes buildings that, we, that he has made. Yeah. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Man, I tell you. It doesn't mean we can't gather in a, in a, no, in a building out of the weather and, yeah. that and be comfortable. But God lives in his people. Mm. In bodies of dust. Man. <laughs> That's powerful. Yeah. So, um, Jesus said in, in, in Luke chapter 10, verse 19 and 20. He said, Behold, I have given you authority. 
to tread on serpents and scorpions, that means the powers of darkness, yeah. and over all the power of the enemy, mm. and nothing shall injure you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are recorded in heaven. So he brought them down to earth. They had gone out yeah. two by two, cast out demons, yeah. healed the sick, yeah. raised the dead, and came back and said, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Lord, we've <laughs> yeah, arrived. <revival. laughs> we've arrived. Yeah. And the Lord said, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But remember one thing, rather rejoice that your names are written yeah. in heaven. Oh. Wow. And that brought them back to earth again. Yeah. <laughs> but they had authority. Yeah. Because they went out in dust bodies. Wow. If people can see that. And that's why you have authority over demons, because they don't have dust bodies. Right. Wow. That's exactly right. That, that itself, if people can, if believers can see that, yeah. we've neglected the importance of our bodies. Mm. Very powerful. So if, if somebody gets sick, yeah. they become uh, less capable of living the life. Because they're almost paralyzed by their sickness. Yeah. And that's not God's will. We know no. that. No. He wants us to be well and healthy yeah. Yeah. so that we can represent Him mm. in bodies that are whole, wow. healthy. <laughs> yeah. Would have you prosper and be in health yeah. even as your soul prospers. Mm. So He wants us to be healthy so that we can represent Him in bodies of wow. healthy bodies of dust. Yeah, that's powerful. Yeah. So... Generally, the body of Christ has neglected the body. Mm. They said, oh, well, it's just a functional thing. Yeah. No, it's important. It's our legal That's right to be here. That's where we get yep. mm. Yeah. So, so disobedience had brought this fall. Yeah. And we lost out our authority. Even though we were in legal bodies, mm. Satan by default became the ruler. But now, here's the interesting part. Right in the garden, before man is sent out into the world, as it were, God has a prophecy, mm. the first prophecy about Calvary. Mm. And that's Genesis chapter 3 and verse 15. Mm. He's speaking both to the serpent, Satan. Mm -hmm. By the way, Satan somehow managed to, to get the snake to allow him to come into a dust body, mm. to come into a wow. dust body. So he was legally here, but he was in a dust body of a Satan snake. possessed the snake. Mm. Oh. So he was legal in that respect. Mm. He, he didn't surprise God at all. I mean, no. I mean, you know, yeah. we know that. Yeah. But he came into a dust body, and then through that dust body, mm. he deceived Eve first and then Adam. Mm. Interesting. So in Genesis 3.15, as part of what God was saying to the serpent and to the woman. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, Eve, and between your seed and her seed, your descendant and her, her descendant. And you shall bruise him on the head. He shall bruise you on the head and you shall bruise him on the heel. Mm -hmm. So and that was a prophecy of Calvary. <coughs> but it wasn't only a prophecy of Calvary. It was a prophecy that God was saying to Satan, the same woman that you have deceived, one of her descendants is going to give me a body of dust. Wow. And through that body of dust, I'm going to crush your head. In other words, I'm going to remove all power that you have had to rule on this wow. planet. So Satan, he defeated mankind yes. because he could, he could deceive someone in a body of dust. And God did the opposite. He deceived Satan yes. through Jesus so, yes. in a body Anybody of dust. <laughs> that's what Corinthians talks yes. about. Yes. If the rulers of the world had known it, yes. they would never, <laughs> never crucify never. him. Never. God took him back exactly the same way, yes. but through a body of dust. Through a body of dust. And that is what I wanted to share with us this last session. Sometimes you hear, sometimes you hear people say, "Well, why did Jesus have to die? Couldn't God just forgive them?" No. Because they don't understand this. Yes, yes. This is what they don't yeah, understand. That's what they don't understand. Yeah. There is no authority no. on the earth. No. And we are living on the earth. Yes. If God wants to work on the earth, yes. he needs a body of there dust. There you go. That's exactly and right. And that's also important because if you want to, you can be used by God because you have an earth body. The Holy Spirit is going to yes. live in you. Yes. And now God wants to flow through you. Oh, that's powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he wants to that's do. That's what he wants to do. 
Sometimes we think about the move of God in a mystical way. God is going to move in this area. Yeah, when believers stand up in their authority, preach the gospel, mm. cast out the yes. cast out demons, mm. heal the sick, mm. Mm. through us mm. he's going to move. Yes. The move of God is not, yes. a, is not a wind of the Holy no. Spirit through the street. No, no it's through no. us. It's through people preaching. It's yes. through people testifying yes. the, about Jesus. Yes. That's how a move of God, when we talk about the move of God mm. in the Netherlands, mm. it's through the believers. It's mm. through mm. our bodies yes, yes he needs our bodies to move through us yeah. he's waiting till we start to speak yes, god's yes, destiny of this country yes. he's waiting till we use our early hands because it can transfer spiritual power jesus said, lay hands yeah. body on the sick and yes. the spirit will flow through yes, us and heal yes, them yes. but he needs a body right so we have a spirit we yeah. are a spirit being yeah. that god has renewed in, mm. in our spirit then when the soul starts coming into line the mind mm. the will and the emotions and we're living in a body of dust. And now we can use the body. And nothing can stop us. Wow. That's why the soul is so important. Because we're going to use the body through the spirit to manifest the glory That's of God. It. Yeah. Wow. So that makes us whole again. Wow. Spirit, soul and body. Mm. So the body is very important. Yeah. A legal requirement. Mm. Very powerful. Yeah. Very powerful. So, there's a, so that's the prophecy in yeah. Genesis 3. Yeah. In the garden. Yeah. Now, centuries later, there are other prophecies, and I just want to deal with one. Mm. That's in uh, Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 and 7. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. Very interesting. This is what is prophesied by the prophet Isaiah. For a child will be born mm. to us. A son will be given to us. Wow. And the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or of peace. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, he, to establish it and uphold it with justice and righteousness. From then on forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. Mm. Talking about Jesus. Mm. I mean, you've got to be dumb, blind and deaf not to know that that's about Jesus. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, but it says in that verse 6, the first part, for a child will be born and a son will be given. Yeah. Now, the son is given by God. But a child is born. So Mary is the bearer yeah. of the child, the yeah. body of dust. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit gives the Son mm. in the body of dust provided for by the Virgin Mary. Mm. That's what the prophecy is saying. Yeah. Wow. And the government will be upon his shoulders. Yeah. Man. Then in Galatians 4.4 4, it says... In the fullness of time, God sent forth His Son, mm. born of a woman, mm. he has the, boss, the dust body, yeah. okay, yeah. born under the law, wow. to redeem those who are under the law, mm. that we might receive the adoption of sons. Mm. So, Jesus comes in a dust body, but He's God in the flesh, in that dust body. Now he lives perfectly under the law of God, the perfect law of God. He obeyed perfectly mm. without any blemish whatsoever, the spotless lamb of God. In that dust body, he now lives a life of victory. Yeah. He heals the sick, raises the dead, casts out demons, mm. uh, feeds the multitudes, mm. causes the cripples to walk and the blind to see, etc., yeah. etc. Yeah. He's walking in a dust body, yeah. but he's demonstrating to us the new man creation in Christ, how we can live. But it's in a dust body. Jesus was the first Christian. He was, yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. Of the new race. He was the first, the new Superman. The new, yeah, he the was new, the first new Superman. He was the new su first Superman, yeah. And we are, yeah. We, we've read it from Romans 8, 29. Yes. We are made to be like him. To be transformed by yes. like the image of the Son. Yes. He was the firstborn. Son. Yes, yeah. firstborn. Firstborn. Yes. We are coming after him. Yes. We have to look like him. Yes. You know what that firstborn, now that you mention mm. it, it's, it's a Greek word, prototokos, mm. where we get the word prototype, prototype. from. Mm. Now, if I've got a, a copy, uh, I want, I've got a master, this is yeah. a master sheet. Yeah. If I want to make copies of this, this is the prototype. Mm. I put this in the printer. Yeah. 
the copier, yeah. and I hit the button, say 10 yeah. copies. And it comes out, 10 copies. But I've got to have a prototype to make 10 copies. Wow. So Christ, who is the, is the prototype of the new creation, now comes into us as a prototype, as the original. And now he wants to duplicate yeah. himself through our lives. Wow. Firstborn. He's wow. the first one, the prototype of many brethren. Mm. We have to look like Jesus. Oh, that's oh. it. <laughs> yes, think like him, act like him, echo him. Yeah, oh. we have the mind of yes. Christ. It's Christ in us, the hope of glory. It's all about Christ all, in us, through us, living yes. for yes. him. Yes, because he was the prototype. Yes, yeah, that's very. That that's your calling as a believer. It's mm. not just to go to church every no. Sunday and sit there. Oh Lord, help look us. like look oh. like Christ. Oh. Look like Jesus. That's your calling. That's why we're here on the earth. Yes. Not to fill a church building. No. Not, it's looking like Christ every day of your life. Every day of your life. Yes. That's what you. What, that's what God gave your body for. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. So, so he's the Son of God. Yeah. And the Son of Man. Mm. He calls himself that. Yeah. Both. So he's hundred percent God. Hundred percent. Hundred percent man. Yeah. In a body of dust. Yeah. This is important because a lot of people think Jesus did the miracles he did because he was the son of God. But that's not true. Yeah. He did every single miracle as a man filled with the Spirit ah, of God. There you go. Jesus didn't do any miracle until he got baptized there with the go. Holy Spirit. Awesome, yes. So God filled him. Yes. And that's what Acts 10.38, let's read it. Because yeah. there we see how it works together. Yeah. Acts 10.38, because it all started with John... Uh, baptizing Jesus in the Jordan. It's very easy to remember John, Jesus and the Jordan. That's where <laughs> it started. John, Jesus and the Jordan. And that was, Luke says, when he was 30 years yes, old. Yes, yes. So the first 30 years of his life, he just didn't do any miracles. J uh, Acts 10, 38, how God, that's God's part, anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Mm. It says Jesus of Nazareth because it's his Man. Yes. The man's the man of dust. The man's side. Of yes, it. yes. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit. There we have the Trinity. God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit with power. And he went, his body went about doing good, healing all who were pressed by the devil. Because the devil doesn't have an earth no, body. No. Jesus in his earth body through the Holy Spirit had more authority. Yeah. No. Because the devil didn't have rights here. No. No. That's and if we know that, yeah. we know our authority mm. as believers. Yeah. The devil can't deceive people. People say, somebody said to me the other day, D don't cast those things out or try and cast them out. You're going to make the devil angry. <laughs> I said, oh, Lord, help us. Where, where's your standing in Christ? Yeah. Do you know your authority? Yeah. They bung of us. They're scared of us. Yeah. <laughs> Neil's from South Africa. So you can oh. preach in South Afrikaans, not in Nederlanders. <laughs> Do you have the word bang? He's bang, yeah. Bang, yeah. Bang. He's yeah. bang for us. Hey. The devil it's is bang for yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the devil should be scared yeah, of us. Exactly. A lot of people are, oh, 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 doesn't matter what he thinks. We do. <sighs> Even in weird things, like speaking in tongues, somebody said, well, I heard Satan is speaking in tongues too. What do we have to do with them? Well, yeah. He is an imitator of the things of God. Exactly. Satanists also pray. Yeah. That doesn't mean we're going to stop praying. They also come together. Right. doesn't mean we're going to stop yeah. coming together. Sure. We do every single thing the Word of God says. Because God says it. Yeah. And we don't have anything to do with what Satan no. says. No. Two opposing kingdoms. Yeah. Kingdom of light, kingdom of darkness. Amen. Yeah. And he's an imitator. Yes. He is yeah. imitating everything yeah. God does. Mm. Sure. <laughs> Oh, Bro. Okay. <laughs> so that's why he's called Emmanuel. Emmanuel, God, God with, with us, mm. now in us. Yeah, mm. he was with us. He was with us, but now, now he's, he's in, in us. Okay, <laughs> so Jesus had to have a body yeah. of flesh and blood mm. to be mankind's redeemer, savior. Yeah, he had to. In other words, work, walk a perfect life in a body of dust. Yeah, a man yet God. Yeah. With no, um, no advantages over us. Hmm. Otherwise, the Satan wouldn't would say... Fair. Wouldn't be legal. Wouldn't be legal. Hmm. So he lives this perfect sinless life yeah. in a body of dust. 
and then chooses to become our Savior, our Redeemer, our substitute. Mm. But he needed a body to be nailed to that cross. Mm. He needed a body to be tortured. Mm. He needed a body to shed his blood. Without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. Mm. And he was nailed to the cross because Galatians 3.13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having been made a curse for us, because everyone who hangs on a tree is cursed. Mm. So in a body, he took our curse. Then he was whipped 39 times with the Roman scourge. But he had to have a body to be whipped, yeah. that by his stripes we, were, we are healed. Wow. Man. Colossians it's, talks about through the body of his flesh yes, yes. redemption came. Good, yes. It's through the body of yes, his flesh. Yes. Yeah. That's how he took the punishment. That's how he took it. There was no other way to do it. No. Man, the first Adam failed. Yeah. The last Adam, which yeah. is Jesus, which yeah. referred to in scripture yeah. as the last Adam. Yeah. There are no more Adams after him. <laughs> so we're either in the first Adam wow. or in the last Adam. Wow. So the first Adam failed, yeah. but the last Adam won. Hallelujah. And we're in Him. Praise God. Wow. And He needed a body yeah. to die. Mm. A physical yeah. body of dust to die. Three days later, he, in that same body, yeah. He rose from the dead, defeated death and hell in the grave for us. Yeah. He, he was eternal anyway. Mm. But he, in a physical body, He died yeah. to give us victory over the grave and over death. Mm. So He rises again the third day. He ascends to heaven and then is seated in a glorified, resurrected body on the right hand of the Father, yeah. having all authority, all might and dominion, King of kings and Lord of lords. Matthew 28, he said, all power, yes. all authority has been given yes. to me. Yes. There's nothing left nothing. for the devil. No, nothing. Nothing. All. A double L. Yeah. Alles. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And having done that yeah. on the day of Pentecost, yeah. He now sends forth the Holy Spirit, the promised Holy Spirit, and 120 get filled with the Holy Spirit. The same way as Jesus was filled at the Jordan, the same Holy Spirit comes down in power upon the 120 on the day of Pentecost. Now he's got the start of his body on earth, but it's a multi-functional body. It's a multi-bodied body. 120. First day yeah. was at 3,000. Next day, 5,000. And ever since, God's been adding to His body it's daily. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Christ. We are the body of Christ. Yes. He's the head now. Yeah. But He was the body. It says that in Colossians, right? Colossians 1 8. Yes. I guess. Yeah. It says He is the head yes. of the body. Yes. And we are the body of Christ. Yes. Yes. So I sometimes use this example because we have been talking about renewing your minds. Yeah. With the mind of Christ. Right. I sometimes use this example. Sometimes um, I've met people who were uh, disabled and they couldn't move this part of their body. Yeah. How do you call it in English? It's um, um, crippled. Crippled, no, yeah. yeah. But they're paralyzed. 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 Their mind is totally fine. Yes. I use it as an example for the body of Christ. Because it doesn't matter what the mind can think of. If the body doesn't do it, it's not going to work. Mm. The same way with the church. Jesus has a lot of plans for the church. He has a lot of plans for his people. There are a lot of plans in his head, mm. in his mind. Mm. Mm. But if the body doesn't do it, yes. it's not going to work. Right. Sure. So that's why the body, the body of Christ, our bodies together, we are the body of Christ, is so important. If you read the story of John, and of the Gospel of John in the end... And when Jesus was raised again from the dead, Peter and John ran to the grave mm -hmm. and they ran into the grave. Mm -hmm. We can look at it. In, it's in mm -hmm. John 20 or 21. Because this is a powerful revelation. I think it's in 20 or in 21. The empty zoom. Yeah, John 20 and then verse... Uh, for four, so they both so they heard now Jesus was resurrected and they ran into the tomb, and then it said so they ran both ran together and the other disciples this John mm -hmm. he outran Peter and came to the tomb first, and he stooping down looking in saw the linen clothes lying there yet he did not go in mm -hmm. verse six six Sim, then Simon Peter 
came following him and went into the tomb and he saw the linen clothes lying there. Mm -hmm. And the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but folded together in a place by itself. Mm -hmm. Why does the Bible tell us this information about the linen clothes? It says when they ran in, they saw all of the clothes were just laying there except the linen clothes mm -hmm. around his head. Right. They were perfectly folded, folded together. What's the prophetic symbol? The head is finished. Jesus said mm. it is That's finished. Yes. They were perfectly folded mm. together. But what was around his body was not finished yet mm. because Jesus finished. He cried out, is this finished? He paid the price to win every yes. single battle. Yeah. But we are the body of Christ and we are not finished yeah. yet. We still have to walk our calling. We have to be like the image of Christ. Yes. We are yes. the body of Christ yes. on the earth, but we are not finished yet. No. As long as we are here, we have an assignment. Yeah. The head is finished. That's the reason the Bible gives us this information. The, the clothes of the heads were folded together mm. in a place where yes. it was finished. That's good. Jesus finished. Yes. But we are. We it. aren't. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> exciting. Exciting. We live in exciting times. Yeah. Exciting times. As the body of Christ. Yes. Jesus is like resurrection his body of Christ again on mm. the earth too. Yes. Yeah. It's becoming an army. Even in the Netherlands, there's a move of God. There, there are happening things. For how many years have you been coming to the Netherlands? Uh, I think 10 years. Mm. 10 years. You, do you experience a difference between... I, I sense I was sharing with you in the car yeah. that there's a new generation that God's raising up. Doesn't mean the older generation, <laughs> like senior youth like I yeah, am. Yeah, senior youth. <laughs> a um, little bit older. It's, it's gone. Yeah, no. But the new generation of young um, uh, pastors and evangelists, yeah. ministers of yeah. the gospel, have... Um, a, a greater understanding of the time we're living in. Mm. There's a revelation coming to them. Um, the us, the older generation, yeah. is the ceiling mm. on which the new generation wow. has on. its floor yeah. to move on from. Yeah. And I just sense that that's what's starting to happen. Mm. There's, there's, a, there's a fresh revelation. Mm. Um, the traditions yeah. that have held people back, the mindsets Mm. And the cultural problems wow. are being pushed aside mm. because this new generation is not willing to compromise with the truth of God's word. Wow. So the people are getting set free. Mm. And once the body starts functioning yeah. as a body, wow. then what's going to stop us? Wow. Jesus said, I will build my church yeah. and the gates of hell will not be able to stand against it. Mm. I don't care what powers of darkness he, the enemy tries to throw up. Jesus said, I am building my... I'm so glad he's doing the building. <laughs> yeah. And the gates of hell will not be able to stop it. And I believe that's what's happening. Certainly in Holland, mm. there's a new generation mm. of young men mm. and women, no doubt. Yeah. I haven't met the woman yeah. yet. <laughs> but the men that I've met, mm. you guys, yeah. uh, Bernard, um, uh, Ubele yeah. in, in Rachten, and those are the men I've just seen mm. lately. And man, it's, I'm excited. Mm. What would you say to the young generation, also to everyone who is watching this? What do you think are, are keys to break this thing through and keep pressing it through? Yes. Not to compromise and just believe what you've heard from traditional Christianity. Mm. Check the scriptures. Scripture interpreting scripture. Mm. Get around men who are moving for God, who are walking by faith, trusting God for the supernatural, trusting God for the impossible. Going where no man has gone before. Yeah. Hitch yourself to that wagon, as they say in the States. Catch a hold. Because the anointing is not taught, it's caught. You catch the anointing from people that are moving in God. Mm. So if, if you're a young person, get attached to some folk or some person that is moving for God, that you know has an anointing of God upon them, who has a vision and a purpose and is going somewhere in the kingdom. Attach yourself to them and you will fly like they're flying. Wow, wow. Mm. That's very powerful. Whoa. What would you say to the older generation? Uh, I must be kind. You <laughs> said I must walk in love. So <laughs> Break loose from the good old days that used to be God. Mm. God is moving on. He's a progressive God. He does not stay in the past. He builds upon the past move of God, but he doesn't stay there. He'll use the good of what's already happened 
to move on into the better. But God is moving on and we need not to say, oh, well, this is the way it worked 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. God wants us to say, throw that off. Move with what God is doing now. Encourage the young generation. They might not have the same music tastes as you. They might not dress the same way as you. They might have holes in their pants and, and, and that sort of thing. But yeah. move with God, get attached to these young people. They have the fire of God in their hearts. Mm. You see what God will do. Very powerful. I don't know. <laughs> Very powerful. Thank you, Neil. Pleasure. This was a powerful teaching about the mm. power of the mm. body. Mm. And we are the body of Christ. Yes. We are the yes. body of Christ. Yes. Christ, we are the body. We are Christ living right now on the earth. Ooh. And we, as a church, we have to start understanding. Yes. We are Christ yes. right now on yes. the earth. Yes, yes. That's he, what we are. He's not going to work through the angels. No. He's working through his people. Even in Acts chapter 10, when Cornelius was praying, mm -hmm. God sent an angel to Peter, and the angel said to Peter, go and preach the gospel. You're right. God couldn't send no, the angel no. to Cornelius. Why not? Because he didn't have an earth body. <laughs> and God, that's how God moves. That's how God moves. <laughs> But we have an earth body. Yes. And when you're watching this, <laughs> you have an earth. The angels are watching this too. But <laughs> yeah. And they're saying, go, go, go. go, go. <laughs> <laughs> you have an earth body. So go for it. Be the body of yes. Christ. Live like Christ. Yes. Have the mind of Christ. Show yes. the power of Christ. Yes. Have the character of Christ. Mm. And we will see this earth full Ooh, of the glory of, the of Christ. glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Neil, it was such a blessing. My privilege. To have you on Voice of Faith. It was very powerful. And I pray that many, yeah. many, many lives will be mm. changed. Thank you, Lord. The battles will be yes. won. Yes, yes. Because we are more than conquerors. Yes, walk in victory. Walk in victory. Amen. 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 See you next time on Voice of Faith. We hopen dat je weer opgebouwd bent in je geloof door deze uitzending van Voice of Faith. En we je verder helpen in je wandel met God. Misschien kan jij ons ook verder helpen door partner te worden van Frontrunners. En op deze manier elkaar helpen. We staan momenteel in geloof voor 100 extra vaste partners in de maand. Door ons maandelijks te steunen help je ons om steeds meer mensen te bereiken en toe te rusten voor Gods Koninkrijk. Bovendien zaai je op deze manier op een continue en stabiele manier in het Koninkrijk van God. Of misschien kan je ons helpen door een eenmalige gift te geven en op die manier te zaaien in Gods Koninkrijk. Daarnaast hebben we nog een aparte tiende rekening voor mensen die hun tiende aan frontrunners willen geven. Of misschien wil je ons specifiek helpen met ons gebouw. Dan kan je ook saaien op de Building Fund rekening. Je kan geven via onze website, via Aldeo of bankoverschrijving of via Paypal of creditcard. Dank je wel voor het zaad dat je zaait in het Koninkrijk van God. We bidden dat je er een prachtige oogst voor terug zal ontvangen. En we beloven je er goed en getrouw mee om te gaan. Gods zegen.